This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Educate WordPress. On this channel, we talk everything about WordPress. And today, we're going to learn Elementor Pro Motion Effects, which is super amazing to learn. Let's get started. Let's head over to Elementor and start making our website super amazing. Now we are here in Elementor. And if you don't know Elementor and how to install and how it works, don't worry, we have Elementor tutorial series. I will link that down in the description. You can check it out from there. So moving on to Elementor Pro Motion Effects. Select an element that we want to test for our effects. I'm going to choose this heading. I'm going to head over to Advanced. And here it is, the Motion Effects. Now let's start from the bottom. This is entrance animation. These entrance animations are also available in the free version of Elementor. So if you think the pro version is an overkill, you can also go with these entrance animations. Now by clicking on the drop down menu, you can see there are a lot of options you can choose from. There's fade in. There's zoom in. and this and there's so many effects to try from with these effects you get animation duration which is normal or slow or fast which, which you can change manually you can also add delay to your animations so that it will load so that it will load after a few given amount of milliseconds Now that's all you can do with entrance animation and the free version of Elementor. Now let's head over to Elementor Pro Motion Effects. Now we're going to check out some Elementor Pro Motion Effects. So if you don't have an Elementor Pro, you won't be able to do this. But if you're considering to buy Elementor Pro, I'm sure it will be worth it. I have explained some of the features of Elementor Pro. I will link that video in the description so you can ease your purchase. So let's head on with the motion effects that are so amazing it will blow your minds out. Let's start from the bottom. The bottom one is sticky. So you can probably tell that if I do this sticky to the top, my element will stick to the top. As you can see, as I'm scrolling, the header element is sticking to the top and the same goes for this element at the bottom stick this section at the bottom this element will stick to the bottom now with sticky now whenever you enable sticky options you get more options that is sticky on it lets you choose where you want to display the, se the sticky section. If you don't want sticky header on mobile or tablet, you can just cross it from here and re-add it from the drop down menu. There is also offset that lets you change the offset. Let me show you. So initially it was here. So whenever I scroll it, it will always stay 200 pixels from the top as you can see next is effects offset effects offset is a property that you won't use that much unless you're using custom css it lets you change the offset of the effect that you're applying via css the next is stay in column 
stain column keeps the element inside the section itself so as you can see i have enabled it and whenever i scroll it this the header will stick to the section only and it will not appear in the next section now that is all for sticky menu let's head on to mouse effects let's enable mouse track by clicking here next you will see two options mouse track and 3d tilt these are the two options available in mouse effects so let's enable this by clicking here and as you can see there are two options direction and speed let me show you what opposite looks like so as you can see whenever i'm scrolling towards the element it is going away from the cursor let's increase the speed now as you can see a bit more clearly what opposite direction really means it's going away from the mouse cursor in the same way it is direct which means it's going to follow the mouse cursor you can change the speed Let's click here to reset this and start with 3D tilt. Now as you can probably tell, 3D tilt is going to tilt the element away from the mouse when the direction is direct. And in the same way, when it is opposite, it's going to pull the element towards the cursor. You can change the speed as well. Now that's all the effects that are available in the mouse track. Now let's start with scrolling effects. This is probably one of the best features of motion effects in Elementor Pro. Let's click here to enable this. And as you can see, there are options, vertical scroll, horizontal scroll, transparency, blur, rotate, scale on and you can apply effects on desktop tablet or mobile and you can change what are the effects related to let's go with vertical scroll as you can probably tell whenever i scroll down it's going to move the element upwards and you can change the speed as well so as you can see it's moving faster when we scroll up and you can change the direction to down so whenever we scroll down it will move it will move with us till the section is over and you can also change the duration of these effects in the viewport section so as you can see whenever i choose 77% from the top it stops right here so it's moving only this much let's check out horizontal scroll as you can probably tell horizontal scroll to the left will move the element to the left direction whenever we scroll down you can change the speed change the direction to the right here as you can see or also change the speed you can add transparency as well as you can see Let's change this to fade out. Now, as you can see, whenever we scroll up, our element is fading out. There are also options fade in, fade out, fade out in, and fade in out. 
let's move on to blur as you can see our element is blur but whenever we scroll down our element becomes clear and you can change the level of blur that you want to apply as you can see the next is rotate you can change the direction to left or right so whenever we scroll down it will rotate to the left direction you can also change the speed from here as you can see and the last one is scale it will make the element bigger or smaller according to the option there's also scale down up and scale up down basically it's going to change the size of your element according to your scroll and the last one is an option called effects relative to the default is chosen to viewport whenever we are editing we are always adding an effect relative to viewport which is the default option but you can change it to entire page so your motion effect will be applied to the entire page now that is all in the motion effects now the fun part is that you can also combine two or more scrolling effects to your element for example if i want to add vertical scroll and horizontal scroll you can do that as well let me change up the speed a bit as you can see it's also moving down while moving to the right direction Now that's all for the motion effects that you can apply in the pro version. In the next video, we will use these elements to create super amazing animations. Thank you for watching this video. Like if you find this video useful and subscribe and hit the bell icon so whenever that video drops, you're the first one to watch it. And I'll see you in the next one.